Onivia, League of Legends highlights. Home last pick is surprising, but I guess There's Braum not a lot or left. Set. <laughs> set, I would love Set, yeah. I think it also then empowers um, the fact that they don't have a lot of CC built into their composition, so adding... Get ourselves double Omni Stone, and what I love about the draft as well, Nidalee first pick into then Jax and Akali, and Canyon will be jumping in, double buff. We'll get down the smoke screen below 100 HP. Sidestep from end of the line underneath the tower. One shot and two. Canyon on the board with first blood. Big mistake there from the laning phase. He was zoning the enemy Akali away from so much farm, generating a huge amount of harassment and just forcing so far. Of course, did find that kill up top. Has a slight CS advantage. And now the bot lane looking to get aggressive once more. Sword Art gets the pulverized down. That slows down any further follow up. But a lot of damage. Now the ultimates are traded back and forth. Grandmaster's might. Counter Strike comes out. Here comes SOFM. Manages to put the heal down to build the collateral damage over the wall. Canyon sends Bin back. Just be enough damage from Bin to uh, take down Nightmare. I do like this roam from Sword Art. The stun will come through after oh, a flash. flash commitment, but... headbutt, pulverized, knocked up into the air. Nagari will go down as the trample. Sword Art's Alistair that picks it up, zooming on the board. So this is the FM. Sword Art correction up in the top lane. There was a little bit of cover there. Canyon gets a, a lot of time. Yes, so FM and Canyon will run into each other in a brief moment with the help of Shelly. Here comes the engage, perfect execution all the way over and through. The flash away, Showmaker's caught out. Angel's low, he's down. The Unleashed Power will pick up the kill. There's a reply back, at least one for SOFM. But Beryl, with the help of the Winter's Bite, the stun will hold Sword Art. Completely zoned away from his tower this time round. Not going to have any kind of support. And Good awareness from Cannon as he's looking to steal away these camps. Now the dive. All right, there goes the dive. Head by Paul Bryce doesn't work. The slicing Maelstrom manages to hold Bin in place for now. The Glacial Fisher comes out from Beryl, and it's going to be a kill into Bin already. Being in the right place at the right time, you ring that barrel and he saves Nagari's life. Exactly that quick shot. Beryl was aware of where Cannon was on the map and he's like, my responsibility is to cover for the top lane. I have to be aware of any potential dives and he is there to counter gank. Now, Cannon in the mid lane helping Showmaker shove this wave out. They could even look to contest for this tower. The wave claw on Angel is not that strong. It looks like they're committing. And so FM is just pieced out of this mid lane. He's going to steal a red buff. The scatter of the week will find a stun and the end of the line goes out. I think had Angel a little closer, maybe the collateral damage and um, unleash power, but not the case. So the tower goes down, the tower goes down top, it's three to zero, and that Goldie's at 5k. And I think this goes to show how flexible Dom One can be as a team. In game one, it was all about the Drakes. In game two, it was a little bit more about the scanning. Now in game three, they're all about the early game. All right, but trying to Augury, get some of those I think he's overextended strikes. here. Sword Art's coming Ooh. out, Javelin Toss goes back in, and Bin gets the first kill, that is huge. I mean, Sword Art really is camping his... Uh, yeah, and I'm not sure how soon he's going to be able to steal this one away. Now, when I look at this game, as we see Bin chasing forward, Counter-Strike is up, Showmaker's used the ultimate already. Bin forced to flash. He started this fight, now he's being look surrounded. At collapse, yep. Look at the mini-map. Beryl's going to be able to chase, get the Blast Cone. Not make it over the wall, but will tag the Winter's Bite. Not going to be able to follow up with a deadly flourish, and now Bin is just looking to get some damage back down. It'll buy a little bit of time as the leap strike over the minion. Six seconds until Dragon. Ironically, stalling this out makes it even more difficult because now you can't TP in. If the rest of Sooning are able to delay, it's going to be 33 seconds before Bin can arrive. Nagari and Canyon are waiting in the wings. Sure, make a TP. Flash slicing Maelstrom. I've seen Nagari win games from this position. And just the threat alone means the Cloud wants to just 3-0 this series, be the stronger team. And this was the type of gameplay that many people are anticipating. As you can see, SOFM being run down here. Gets caught by a deadly flourish and collateral damage plus curtain call sets up a kill. We're 22 minutes in. Dumbledore are now going to start the Baron. I think it's important to recognize that after games one and two, soon improve not only can they compete, they can win. And if they are unable to win this game, they will have side selection for the next one. But there is drama at the Baron pit. Ghost is down Very nice. inside the pit. Angel continues to chase. The Glacial Fisher comes down from Beryl. But Canyon's the next target. Just as I am talking about Dom One winning, Sooning find themselves a fantastic moment to pick themselves up three kills, maybe four, as Beryl goes down. That's the fourth. And now Nogari has joined the fray. Slicing Maelstrom is available, but I think there's too much to chew off this time. Let Electro hamster and he's running for his life. Angel's going for the hunt. Bin can hop over the wall if Nogari wants to. Angel is swinging those shurikens looking for a target. Nogari can flash inside the pit. There is SOFM coming from the wings. The gunplay goes down. There goes oh. the hop over from Bin. Perfectly executed and just at the
the last moment. Angel takes down Noggery, and this will open up the Baron. Sooning are right back in it. There is a reason why we dub him the Angel of Death when he gets his hands on Akali. When the re they have been beautiful on both sides, and both previous games been dancing on a knife's edge. Uh, he's been getting the um, Glacier Augment a lot with the Omni Stone root choice, and I think that this setup basically allows him to guarantee the spear. Now the TP flank from Noggery. Running, running, running! That's so much damage, cannot kick him away. Headbutt pulverized just to knock Noggery up in the air, but the teleport will get the kill for one thing. Let's see what SOFM can do with that itemization, Vedius, that you were just alluding to. Top lane, Angel is pushing into the base. He's yes. opened the inhibitor turret. We are setting ourselves up for a dramatic ending here. Fine. Teleport coming in now. Nogri's going to make his way forward. I don't think he'll be in time to interrupt it. Angel joins the fray. Nogri's got no TP available because he used it to kill one Fung. Beryl's running for his life, and he stays alive just a few seconds longer. His canyon is the first to fall. Somehow, the rest of Darmon are able to escape. Ghost has got no flash and no heal and the damage that he's chucking out with this gin and the two-man stun from showmaker is helping dumb one out there's the defensive leap and sooning are backing away the, uh, the maelstrom's not available for nagri as looking at the cool get away from scatter the weak but you can feel the magnetic pull of elder dragon that could be the deal breaker. Angel is caught out. The slicing maelstrom from Noggery. Stopwatch is used from Angel. He stays alive. The stun comes down from Bin. That will force Darm 1 to disengage, but the damage may already be done. Defensive leap strike as Canyon dashes forward. He's already used the collateral to pick up the kill onto Bin. The rest of Suning are now running for their lives as they're being flanked. Ring the barrel! As the Winter's Bite comes out, it doesn't find a target. Barrel gets knocked up into the air, and the curtain call doesn't. He does have the slicing maelstrom, but look at Sword Art. He's trying to flank. Elders the focus, will Darmon re-engage? No flash for Noggery. I don't think they want to give it up. Ooh. That's a very big stun from Scatter the Week. Ton Fung's locked inside the pit. Noggery's going to get slowed down. That super soaker from SOFM doing tons of work. The Elder Dragon is secured by Sooning. The slicing Maelstrom will be able to pick up the kill onto one Fung, but now it's Angel that's falling immediately after. What can Bin do? A two for one, but the Elder goes to Sooning. Oh, look at SOFM. Oh, Ghost's going to cancel his ultimate there to immediately get out of the situation. It's... There's a thing about LCK and and cannons, and they're just very good they're at the exceptional. <laughs> We've seen at this tournament already. Sword Art's going to get rooted in place, forced to throw down that unbreakable will. He's still holding on to the flash, still holding on to the exhaust. That's the headbutt, the pulverize, the defensive chase Ooh. away, and he just gets blown up. The moment that ulti times out, it's a minute 45 Baron, Baron, to Elder. Baron. Angel's going to get jumped on by Canyon. There's still Flash Ultimate available on Augury. One Fung, no true shot barrage. Bin is making his way forward. Baron solo. Canyon is dropped low by Angel. He's dashed inside the pit. Knock up from Baron. Angel's trying to continue, but the Baron is secured by Dom One. The slicing Maelstrom is slowing down the suiting engage. Bin forced to retreat. Dom One get themselves a kill onto Jax. The curtain call tags Angel. And with the help of the follow up, it's Showmaker killing Angel. Now One Fung gets one back onto Showmaker, but three quick kills, as well as the Baron buff, and SOFM misses the Javelin toss. Chunk down, Ghost is chasing, and will most likely not get there, maybe push oh, forward. Oh, they may very well look for that end, and to think that it was just one big mistake that came through from Sword Art that could cost his team the game. TPs are available for Showmaker when he respawns. Sword Art looking to hold the line. SOFM jumping, pouncing forward. Will force Barrel backwards. Goes Golden to buy the time, but the Baron Powered Minions are still hammering away on the Nexus start. The Exhaust will slow down the inevitable deaths, but not the Ace. Will not stop and save the base. Dumb one.